Hey there, I'm Aaron from EUGameHost.com and this is just a super quick video telling you about our new £2 per month VPS hosting. So it's a great offer, it's only in our German location currently. It's provided on AMD EPYC CPUs, um, so you get two V cores. Um, so two V cores equals one physical CPU thread. You get two gigs of RAM, 20 gigabytes of SSD, NVMe, 4.0 storage. It's in RAID 1 redundancy as well, so it's all backed up. Um, and it's also on a shared 10, gig 10 gigabit per second port. You get two terabytes of transfer per month um, on that two pound plan. Um, you also get a dedicated IPv4 address and of course path.net DDoS protection alongside access to filters and all, you know, all the bells and whistles associated with path. Um, so what I will do is I'll just show you how you'd get this set up. So first of all, after you've placed your order, it will get automatically deployed and then you will come into the My Services section of the panel just here. From there, you would select your new VPS, so this is our £2 VPS, and you click Log into Control Panel. It'll log you straight into the panel here, and here you can name your VM, so we're going to call ours Windows VM. And you scroll down, you, you of course have pretty much every major Linux distribution you can think of, but also Windows, and uh, the minimum requirements for Windows are 2GB, so it works out perfectly. We don't charge any extra for Windows Server, though we do deliver it in evaluation mode, so you are required to add your own license, but you know, that is for you to do. Um, you get up 180 days on the evaluation version, you can technically renew that um, as many times as you want, but you know, it is, it's for you to manage. Um, but you come down and just select Windows Server 2022 in this case, and then you click Install. You click, click install there and it will literally take about a minute to install. It's a very very quick process. While that's doing that I'll tell you a little about us as a provider. Um, we are a protection first provider, um, being a game server provider, so that means by default we run a denial rule on our traffic. This is to encourage you as the client to take advantage of the protection that we do offer and to port punch and set up filters on your server. So for Windows for example the default RTP port is 3389. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our DDoS, man, DDoS manager and uh, create a rule for port 33809. So what you would do is you would come into our panel here. To, to do that for reference you just go to my services, I click the button, it would help, um, select the DDoS manager and then click open control panel. This takes you into our very beautiful looking panel um, from pathmodule.com and in this case here we're going to go over to the firewall rules section of the panel. Now you can see I've made one already but we'll just delete that and remake it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click create a rule. We're going to select the source as everything because we want it to be accessed by the wider internet. Hypothetically if you wanted to lock this down, um, I tell a lie, we select the source as everything and then we leave the source as 0. 0.000 slash 0. Um, the destination is of course the IP of our VM and the protocol we want to enable TCP on port 3389. And we're just going to call this RDP. Hypothetically, if you wanted to lock this down to the IP of a VPN, for example, you know, or a static home IP address, you would replace the source address here with your own IP. Um, and that would allow you to lock down RDP to you only. But in this case here, we're just doing an open RDP port. Um, so we're going to create, and then this will take 15 minutes to apply roughly. Um, so the path network is an anti-cast network, meaning rules are applied on the edge, so it takes time for the rules to propagate, kind of like a DNS in that regard. Um, with regards to RDP, the best filter for this would be the TCP symmetric filter. So what we're going to do is go over to the firewall slash filters section of the panel, panel, and we're going to go down to TCP symmetric. Then we're going to click select filter. And we're going to enter the port 3389. We will start off with a rate limit of 1000 pps, so that's per connection, and uh, that's a, you can tune down, um, but that sh should be fine for RDP. So now this again will take roughly 15 minutes to apply, and from there, your RDP service will be effectively protected. So we're going to head back to our panel now, and as you can see, the install has now completed. So we use the Vert Fusion Control Panel, it is outright, in my opinion, the best VM panel. It's very, very modern with features um, but of course you can see the IP address here um, you can mount custom media or in this case here you can use VNC now we offer two types of two, two ways to connect to your Windows VM one you can RDP with like a traditional VM or you can use the VNC KVM 
So in this case here, we're going to click VNC, and uh, then you can log in. So you'd have been emailed the password, so I will just jump out. I will uh, jump out now and grab the password. Hey, so I've now gone and jumped over to my email and grabbed the password that I was automatically sent. Um, so what we're going to do now is go click Options. We've already enabled the VNC KVM, so we're going to click Browser. And then we'll come over here and click the macro tool and we will open that. Then you just click this and we can paste in the password, press enter, and voila, you are in your VV VM. Now you can also connect using traditional RDP. Um, so what I will do, I will grab the password, sorry, the IP, and then we will open remote desktop. Uh, sorry about that, I had my mic off for the last 30 seconds of the video, so I will re-record this last part. Um, so what we do is we open up Remote Desktop, I've already connected in, however, um, you would enter the credentials that were emailed to you, in this case I have them saved now, we're just going to click Connect, then Yes, and it'll take us straight into our new £2 per month Windows VM. Um, so what we'll do is we'll quickly open up Task Manager, and as you can see, in the performance tab, what you have is an AMD EPYC CPU. You've got two V cores, which is one physical CPU core. Um, and then, of course, you've got two gigs of RAM and your 20 gigabytes of SSD NVMe storage. Do note when using VMs, you only even see the base clock. Um, this is because the actual CPU speed doesn't pass through to the VM. Um, your CPU will be running at the full boost clock. Um, However, that won't display in Windows. It's the same reason our 5950X CPU shows 3.2 GHz when actually they run at 4.7 or something like that. Um, but yes, so this is your Windows VM. It's £2 per month. Um, it's on NVMe hardware and it's parked on and protected. And any questions, let us know. But £2 per month, that seems like a very good deal to me. But yeah, any questions, let us know. And uh, have a good day, guys. Cheers.